From up in the air, our world changes. A different perspective that offers us different surroundings. A complementary version of our physical reality. Air observation offers us the possibility of detecting a situation and analyzing it from different points of view. A fundamental element in decision making. The earlier the detection and the greater the amount of information, the lower the risk levels. Inter is the Spanish reference in aerospace research and technology. Since 1942, it has been carrying out essential work in the development of widely accepted and highly useful programs which meet society's needs. It researches and develops systems, applying all the knowledge of the Institute's scientists. Programs like the SIVA, on which many of the divisions of the center participate. Propulsion, structures, materials, aerodynamics, electronic technologies, tests, mechanics and flight control. The Aeronautical Programs Department is currently developing two types of systems based on unmanned air vehicles. Systems for surveillance and observation by means of integrated electro-optical sensors and aerial target systems for the training of anti-aircraft artillery units with real fire. The Integrated Air Surveillance System is a system of unmanned aircraft for civil and military use with many different applications. The SIVA is a real-time observation vehicle equipped with electro-optical sensors for visible and infrared mounted on a gyro-stabilized platform. The system also provides adequate monitoring of fixed or mobile targets in both daytime and nighttime conditions. The complete system is composed of four air vehicles, a mobile ground control system, a ground data terminal, and a pneumatic air vehicle launcher. The operation and maintenance of the system can be carried out with a maximum of 10 people. Made mostly of carbon fiber, the air vehicle of the SIVA integrates the systems of flight control, propulsion, electrics, data link, and recovery. The system's capacity and the modularity of the design make it possible to rapidly adapt it to different payloads. The flight control system fully developed at Inter makes it possible to carry out totally automatic flights engaging in a nominal mission. This mission can be interrupted by means of commands sent from the control station. The different types of commands mean that the aircraft can fly over specified points on the map with great precision and also that in-flight configurable automatic maneuvers and trajectories can be executed. The radio link system permits the transmission in real time of two video images, visible and infrared, with a high transmission rate and with a range of over 150 kilometers. It can operate at greater distance in radio silence mode, recording the images. The mobile ground control station, the true heart of the system, houses three consoles to carry out the operations of mission control, air vehicle control, and payload control. The station also has the capacity to record missions for subsequent evaluation and can be employed as a simulation and training tool. The ground control station has the capacity to transmit via satellite the flight data and images sent by the aircraft, likewise permitting communication with a higher command unit. 
The system also has several portable racks transported by mobile brigades that receive images and data directly from the aircraft, providing the information wherever it is needed. To start the flight, you can opt for takeoff on unpaved runways using the landing gear or launch the air vehicle by means of a pneumatic launcher. This latter configuration makes it possible to operate in any kind of terrain. The change between the two configurations is immediate. The aircraft can end the flight by landing on runways using the landing gear or by activating the parachute and the airbags to absorb the impact against the ground in launched configuration. In modern society, air observation is an indispensable element in decision-making. In certain circumstances of risk, impaired visibility, having the right technology helps us to save lives, to protect nature to monitor areas, to protect our borders, to evaluate alternatives, to help us, in short, from a very broad perspective, to take the most appropriate decisions.